What is going on everybody, Dan with Gear Focus here, and today we are talking about the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K. One of our most popular videos on this channel is our menu walkthrough for the Blackmagic 6K. Now, one thing we see in the comment section of that video a lot is to go over some of my personal favorite settings for this camera. Now, I've been using the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 6K for about a year now as my main camera. Now, the most common way that I use this camera is my handheld setup. So here you can see that I have a full tilted cage with top handle. I have a small rig base plate for some 15 millimeter rods, which then holds my V-mount battery holder and the V-mount battery itself. I'm using the Samsung T5 SSDs. I use the one terabyte version. I've never really had any issues with frame dropping or anything like that. And I also use an Atomos Shinobi monitor. This is just a monitor. It doesn't record, it doesn't do any of that stuff, but it does give me all of the tools that I need to make this camera really stellar. Now, contrary to popular belief, you don't have to use the Blackmagic RAW settings in order to get a good usable image on this camera. I actually don't use B-RAW like ever. I mostly use ProRes on this camera. And the main reason for that is the file sizes. For the benefit that Blackmagic RAW gives me for my personal workflow, it just doesn't make sense for me to have file sizes that are almost double what they are when they're in ProRes. Blackmagic RAW is only a 12-bit codec. When it imports into Resolve, it shows up as a 16-bit linear format, but for all intents and purposes, when you're looking at log footage, it's a 12-bit format. And ProRes is a 10-bit format. For the majority of my stuff, I'm not really pushing and pulling colors very much. It's mostly just content creation and freelance work that you know I'm lighting properly and I'm getting to look good coming into the camera, so my color grading is really pretty simple on the back end. I don't really have to do a whole lot to it after I'm done shooting. And one of the ways that I do that is I set my camera up in a consistent fashion every single time. Most of my settings are pretty much the same. So like I said, I do shoot in ProRes 422. I've been using this Kodak for about a year and every time I shoot with it, I'm really pleasantly surprised with the way that the image looks. I'm shooting most of the time in either 24 frames or 60 frames. I have the high frame rate button mapped to switch the camera to 60 frames when I press it so I can flip back and forth between those modes super quickly. Also, the lens that I usually use on this camera is the Canon 24 to 105 f4. Online, I've gotten a lot of flack for really liking that lens, but I've always been able to get really good results with it, both in photos with my EOS R and video with my Blackmagic. If you want to see some more about that 24 to 105, you can click this link up here. We do have a dedicated video specifically for that lens. So other than ProRes, one of the other settings that I use is a shutter angle. Because I do that, I have my shutter set at 180 degrees. So whenever I change frame rates, I don't have to worry about changing a shutter speed because it's already set the way that it's supposed to be. But because I don't have to worry about the angle, that just gives me more creative freedom when I'm on set. Now in terms of color space and dynamic range, I am using the film setting on the camera. This gives us the flattest image coming out of the camera, but also the most dynamic range. There are a couple other settings on the camera, but most people will prefer the film dynamic range setting, and that's what I've been using for about a year now. Other than that, I don't really have any other special settings inside the camera. I leave all of the heavy processing to the big editing machine upstairs. These Blackmagic cameras are insanely flexible, and every time I shoot with it, I just am more and more impressed with the image that I'm able to get. While it is a Super 35 sensor, the majority of cinema cameras nowadays are either Super 35 or full frame, and to me, I personally like the look of a Super 35 sensor. Super 35 does have a kind of specific look, and I personally really like that, and I think it looks good for what I do. Now something to keep in mind is I'm looking at this camera from a freelancer videographer perspective. I shoot for a bunch of different people. I'm at a different location almost every day. I'm not shooting the same thing over and over and over again. So because of that, I need something that was really, really flexible. And the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K does exactly that for me. 
All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for me today. I just wanted to give you a quick rundown on how I set my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 6K camera up, because like I said, we have been getting a bunch of questions about that, and this camera does give you some amazing image quality at a really, really good price point. We do have a couple available for sale on Gear Focus, and that inventory is always changing, so make sure that you're constantly checking back, and if you wanna be subscribed to our mailing list, go ahead and sign up for that as well. If you have any further questions on the Blackmagic Cinema cameras or anything else, let us know down in those comments down below. And while you're down there, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button as it really does help us out here on the channel. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys sticking around to the end. Stay safe, stay healthy, and remember, Gear Focus is always here to help you feed your passion. I forgot to mention that we do have the Gear Focus trucker hats available on the store. As you guys know, I almost never don't wear a hat, and these hats are one of my favorite hats that I have. They are really nice and comfortable. They actually have a little bit of a stretch to them, which is nice. Like, see, they've got a little bit of a stretch to them, even though they are a snapback. So go ahead and pick yourself up. Gear Focus trucker hat on the store.